class. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining today. I just wanted to jump on real quick to say thanks so much for joining. And we're so excited to have all of you on the call today, along with Mariel. Um, as Felicia said, Lisa Weinstein and I from Zebra are going to be in the chat. So any questions you have, feel free, product questions or questions about um, Mariel's process, feel free to ask them there. Um, and we're really ha happy to have you and hope you have a great time. And I'll pass it over to Mariel. Thanks so much. Great, thanks guys. Hello everyone. I'm so excited um, to be here this afternoon. Thanks for joining and just kind of going over how we can add color and fun using zebra mod liners, markers, and pens. I think there's, I think a lot of us are really familiar with the mod liners, but there's so many really cool ways that we can infuse color and not just for decoration, but also for function. I mean, that's why we're planning, right? We, we got to get stuff done. So this is just another way to, you know, make it pretty, make it fun to look at, fun to create, but also get things done. So um, let's, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to move my little overhead and turn some lights on. All righty. Okay. Now we're bright. All right. So there was a camp, what does it say? A printable that was available on the uh, class when you signed up. Um, if you didn't grab it, it'll still be out there. You can grab that. This is if you print it full size. Um, this full size will fit if you use, like for example, a big happy planner or a any you know eight and a half by eleven standard piece of paper planner. If you're wanting to print it. For example, for your classic planner, you can print it at 82% and it kind of makes it just, just the right size so that when you cut it, you can punch it and put it right in your planner. What I like to do when I'm getting ready to plan is just kind of go over some of the, um, the basic things and what I need to get done and organize it so that it's ready to go right into your planner. So what I do first is list out all my tasks. So let's say, you know, all the things that you need to get done for the week. So if anybody's got some, like, what, what do you guys got to get done? Let's see if we need to, maybe um, I have to pick up a prescription. I also like to use these as well. Um, on days that I'm really busy because I can just pop it and put it in my planner and I, you know, I've got my list ready to go. So we can do things. You might have um, a hair appointment. Um, let's see what else. Just kind of list all of the different things. I might need to go grocery store. Um, I have to go mail some items, things like that. So I basically write all of the things that I need to get done down. Then I go back and kind of, look, okay, which are the things that really have to get done, you know, first? Let's put these in priority order. So my prescription is pretty important. So I'm going to put that as one. Um, I have an appointment, so I know I'm going to need to do that. Let's say I've got to mail this. So you just kind of go back and put them in category order. This just helps me because if I start making this really long list, it becomes really overwhelming for me with all of the stuff I have to get done in the day. Um, so I kind of go through and make sure that I've got everything down. I might, let's say I need to work out. Um, and I maybe need to call my mom. Just putting that in there. That's really important. That should not be low on the list. But anyway, all of the things that you need to get done for the day. So I might go ahead and put these in. Um, I'm just right now, I'm just putting like some numbers here. I need a I need a five and a six. Um, let's say I need to send an email. That's gonna be my six. Okay. So once you've got some items in your list of the things that you need to get done, and now you've kind of put them in order of priority, 
that's kind of what I use to create my to-do list for the day. That way it's in order of the things I need to get done. Instead of jumping around, looking at one, you know, giant list of things, I can then make um, more of a condensed thing of here's how, here's like your plan of attack for getting it done. So now I've got my order. I might do, okay, first I'm going to pick up my, my Rx and I can put like, if I have a time, like I'm gonna go get that at nine or, you know, kind of mentally time block some of these things. And then I know my hair appointment is fixed. And then you just kind of go back through here and reorganize the list in order of things that you need to get done. So that's just, how I do, how I do it. And everybody's got a different way of like, you know, things that you need to get done, but this just helps make that list not be so overwhelming and kind of breaks it down into steps. Okay, and then let's see, where is this? Okay, all right. Another thing that I like to do, and kind of if you do any um, like color coding in your planner, this is a great way. I've got these little markers here. So you can choose your colors that you're going to use. Um, I love to use mild liners. Um, and you can also use a lot of the other pens because kind of the beauty of, of the products is that you can put like, for example, a lot of these Sarasa pens, you can match with Mod Liner and match with the Click Art pens. So you can really, if you're gonna color code, like it's really easy to, to use the different pens and the different things and keep those categories in order. So let's say I'm doing some color coding here. I'm just gonna color in this pen. Plus now I'm having some fun coloring <laughs> as well. <laughs> kind of like, you know, just enjoying having a little downtime. I like to use, when I'm coloring in things, these brush pens, just a tip, like I really enjoyed using these to kind of, you don't have to just use them for brush lettering, but they're great because it's like using a little brush, like a little paint brush when you're um, coloring things in. So let's say these are my categories and I can go back and categorize all the items and I can put in, you know, let's say this one is like a work up work. And this could be errands I need to run. And this could be um, just personal. And you can have as many categories or as few as you need um, just to help kind of get like I said, get things done in, um, for your day. So let's say this is a work email and then I've got my personal and you'll see as we go and put this in our planner, kind of how this helps out um, in getting things, getting things done. So let's say this um, errands, I've got to pick up the prescription and the grocery store is gonna be another errand. And let's see what else we've got. We've got um, the hair appointments personal, calling mom is personal, my workout is personal self-care. And again, you can divide these out even more. Um, but I like to do this, that way I've got this, I can pop it in my planner. Um, if you've got a really busy day that maybe, you know, just a couple sections in your planner just aren't gonna cover, you can kind of use this almost like a daily plan of attack for your day. So that's kind of how I come about like what's going to go in the planner. So this is kind of the more the functional getting it, getting it done. And then when it's going in my planner is when, again, we're going to use some of this function, but we're going to also have some fun with it. So, all right. So I'm just grabbing some pages. These are this is just a like a vertical layout. There are so many options for planners. You might have a horizontal, you might have, um, you know, a coil, a, you know, disc bound, anything. They're all, you know, you can use these in all of the different 
um, different planner layouts. So let's talk about, I love to use boxes because as a way to draw focus to getting stuff done. Um, when I, that way you can, it just kind of highlights and just stands off of the planner. You can really see it and focus on these are like the most important things that I need to get done today. So let's see, we said like a really top one was um, picking up the prescription. So that was, I used, let's see, yellow. So I used this color. Um, you can make a box with this color to stand out, make it really, you know, kind of pop off your page. So let's just look at different ways we can do it. Obviously everybody knows we can clearly just like highlight and write, you know, pick up our X. All right, which that's great. You know, you've, you've got that down, but we can also do things and have fun with it, right? Um, and again, I'm gonna point out, I am not an artist. I cannot, like, I can't draw, but don't let that stop you from doing things and having fun in your planner. The lines don't have to be perfectly straight. If you wanna get a ruler out, awesome, get a ruler out. But I love just, you know, just going for it, drawing a square, drawing a circle, drawing anything. It's not going to be perfect, but it's in my planner. It's fun. And I think that also gives it a little character. They don't all need to be perfectly straight lines. Um, so let's talk about other ways that we can do um, just different boxes and fun things. I'm going to just, I'm going to grab, let me grab just a, a blank. I'm going to grab a blank page here and let's have some fun. So all of these pens, um, and markers are by Zebra Pen and they are available at Michael's. So this is the mild liner. These are highlighters and they're dual ended. So you've got like your fat chisel end to highlight or color. And then you've got this thin end. So you could write, like I could write, you know, pick up RX in this color if I wanted to. Um, there's also my new favorite, which are the Zebra Click Art markers. I love these because there's no caps and you can just click them and you're ready to go. It turns red, tells you it's on and ready. Um, and then you can just click it again and it's gone. And these have special ink that doesn't bleed into other colors and they don't dry out. So they, I'm like obsessed with these now. So we'll show, we'll show more on these as well. And then also the Sarasa pens. These are my favorite pens to use in my planner. Um, and they come in a ton of colors. Um, they're great like for color coding and all of that. But I use black ones just all the time, nonstop, 0.5 pen. So these are definitely, definitely my favorite. Um, okay, so let's talk about boxes. I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab, let's grab a, I'm going to use this turquoise because it's a little, a little darker. We can see what we're doing here. Um, a lot of times I just like to draw a box around something. So I might just make a box like that. And I can just draw right in and be done. But you can, have, you can have a lot of fun with it too. You can do, um, you can highlight it. So we can just simply put two little lines kind of coming down here. And then I'm gonna just go and connect them. You can color that in, kind of make like a little shadow to really make it stand off the page. Um, if I'm doing this with, let's see, I'm gonna grab, and once you kind of have like basic, you know, like, okay, I'm gonna draw a box. Now I'm gonna use some click arts. I can do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm just kind of making a little shadow there. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like nobody's gonna measure my box and make sure I made it the same size, it's okay. Um, but what I love about like these click art pens is that you can then go back. Let's say I wanted to add some dark blue lines. I don't have to worry about this bleeding it doesn't bleed. I can also, um, let's say I'm gonna do this really fast. And it's just having fun with it. 
We can add infuse more color in, but it's functional because now my eye is drawn to whatever like heading. This could be important to do. It could be um, things like this. You can also take um, your marker, let's say, and do, I could do just hash marks and just, I mean, they don't, again, I'm not even doing them perfect. Just to have it kind of something fun and then you can write inside of the box. Just, I guess my thing is I just have fun with it. Um, there are so many different ways to do different boxes and different things to draw attention to your, um, to whatever important thing is. Sometimes I like to make mine fun when I'm, you know, sometimes when I'm doing something not as fun, I like to have it at least, you know, looking cute in my planner to keep me motivated to do it. Um, all right, so another thing, once you've got, again, I'm gonna draw a box, here's a box, right? Another fun thing you can do is almost have like a ribbon kind of coming off of it. So I'm just gonna make like a little, um, oh, two little lines kind of in the middle, right? And then I'm going to put a dot right here in the center, if you can see that. And I'm just gonna connect the end to the dot. Kind of makes it have like a little ribbon feel. So we can add just, you know, kind of some importance there. You can color it in, right? And like I said, don't, don't be afraid just to have fun with it. So we've got that. You know, I could draw stripes. I could, I could even, you can come back even with gray and make a little shadow. It doesn't have to be, right? Just to kind of make it pop off the page. So you can do, have fun with it that way. Um, let me think what else. There's also, if you've got maybe uh, something important, that you wanna highlight and draw even a flag on. We can draw a flag. The same thing we just did with that ribbon, two parallel lines. I'm gonna kind of put a dot right here and I'm just gonna connect it. And this can just, and if you're using, like I said, color coding, this could be a way to, you know, section off those items that your color, you know, that, okay, this is, you know, this is my um, self-care. And you can list different items. You can make bullet dots. So I'm gonna make a little circles that maybe I might wanna check off. My favorite, and this is how I use them, I just like to make, just using that chisel tip, just little boxes, you just kind of drag right there. They're not perfect but I think that's what makes them fun. And then as you do tasks and as you get things done, you can come back and check things off on your list. So that's one way that I love using. All right, let's draw some more, some more boxes here. All right. I'm gonna grab another mild liner. And let's do kind of another ribbon. This one is a little bit of a different technique. Everything starts with a box, so it makes it really easy. So I'm gonna just kind of do, let's say I wanted to make a, a title for this page. You kind of just draw your rectangle, right? Just like that. And then I'm gonna draw one line here, just kind of, kind of offset from that corner. And then I'm gonna connect the corner to that line. And I've got kind of a little, a little fold starting. I'm gonna go about halfway here. I'm gonna draw out. And I'm gonna go from the bottom, draw out. And then we're gonna do that same thing again where we put the dot and the ribbon to kind of give it that fancy look. And then I've got like a little folded kind of banner. You can color this in, give it a little shadow. I could put, a title in here to do. And you can color these in as well. You know, if I wanted to color it in. 
you could do that. And I think I'm going to show you guys. That's one of my favorite things about these markers. And I'm going to I'm going to show you with the yellow because yellow and black, you would think immediately. No, do not mix those colors. But I promise you it's going to work. So let's see. Let's say this is going to be another um, title and I'm going to do it. Let's start with black. Let's say I'm gonna do just a flag here. And I'm gonna write to do, put some dots. Now, you would think, oh no, you wrote in black. There's no way you can color around this. It's no way, you're done, you're done. But what I love about these markers is they don't bleed. I can go right over the black and I'm not gonna have any issue with my colors bleeding in to each other, which typically if you're using markers that are like yellow or black, you can't do that. I'm trying to get in there. So it's really cool. Um, I think the other day I was trying to draw, use leaves and I was doing different colors with green and I had the same, Thing. So those are really awesome. I know. I love that. That's one of my favorite parts. Um, let's see if let's draw some more fun boxes. Another thing you can do too is not only do just, you know, open boxes like this that you can later either fill in or color, um, but you can do make decorative boxes as well. So let's try. I'm going to make, let's see, let's make a box here. I'm going to use this end and I'm just going to come in here and make box, right? And I'm going to use the chisel end and I'm just going to draw some lines down. Look, I'm not even being straight, just having fun and then go across. And we can kind of do some flags. We can even add another color in. Let me use this little, let's use, let's use a thin end and just kind of add some design this way. But just have fun and do a bunch of different, you know, so many different techniques and different ways that you can use boxes. Um, I even, let's see, I've got like a sheet of just some different ones that I was doing to kind of show like ahead of time. But you can go in and just create all kinds of different fun things and ways to make your items, the important things that you want to highlight pop off the page. And if you go in too and use black to detail, you can like say, say we drew this one and I'm gonna draw a box and then make it look like it's got maybe some washi tape on it. I'm just gonna go back here and kind of tear that. But you can add a ton of detail. You can even go and add, let's say multiple colors with some boxes. I might do some of these and just kind of keep it fun. So all of this, adding all these colors and adding things, but still adding function and things to your planner. All right, when we can come back to making any of the boxes that you guys wanna make, how many click art pens? There are 36 colors. So I've got, I've got a whole set right here um, of fun colors and things you can do with these as well. But we can come back and make any of the boxes or any of that kind of thing. But let's let's go and start adding some decoration and some of these boxes into our actual plans. All right, so let's go back to our pickup RX, right? All right, make sure everybody can see. Okay, so since I kind of filled that in, I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make one of these banners. Actually, I'm gonna do it a little different. Let's do this. Let's try this. I'm gonna go in and just kind of color up 
for this. Make it a box. All right. Okay. And I'm going to use my black Sarasa pen just to add some detail to it. And I can even add, let's see. I'm gonna add just a little bit outside, almost like one of those shadows. And I'm gonna put some little lines in it just to kind of make it pop off the page there. Okay, so I've got that. Another thing is I had a hair appointment. So let's do, I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna make that, let's see. How about, I'm gonna use this pink. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a box that I can write that in. And right as I'm getting to this corner, I'm gonna kind of leave it open right there. And I'm going to just do a little curve, just a little curve like that. And then I'm going to make a triangle. I'm gonna put my dot right there and I'm gonna do a little curve and a little curve. Kind of makes it look like the, if the page is folding up just a little bit, just to give it some fun and some, just something a little different. I mean, I could draw a box and a box is great, but this just kind of gives it a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna kind of highlight a little darker on this bottom here. You can even, you can even color this corner in if you like. And I can color it in. I can color the whole thing in pink. Coloring and doodling is so important. I think sometimes I forget to do that, but just taking time and just coloring um, while you're setting up your planner can be something that's really just relaxing and fun. So I'm coloring this in. I should, I'm gonna, normally I would, I might take a little more time on it. I'm gonna go, I'm sure you guys don't wanna see me slowly color in anything. So I'm gonna try to try to speed it up, but I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna come back and write their appointment on here. So I would, I would take a little time, more time normally, but as you can see, my colors, with the light and dark don't bleed into each other. And if you've ever used other felt tip markers, they typically, they'll start to bleed. And this is dry. Like I don't have to worry about it smearing, it's done. So I'm gonna come back with my black. I'm gonna put hair appointment. At nine. Uh, it just kind of stands out. And I know it's probably harder to see some of these things, but just to give you an idea. All right. And again, it's not doing that where the inks kind of bleed out into each other. You don't have to worry about that with these markers. All right. So what else did we have on our list? Let's go back with our to-dos. I've got to do some mail, which we can have fun with too. I might grab this. I'm gonna just, let's see, let's just make a box here. Kind of like, I think I'm gonna make, I might make a little envelope. Again, I'm not an artist, but I really, with these, you don't, you don't have to be. Okay, and we can color it in. You can color, you can mix things too. Like I can mix my click art with my mild liners. I might get this brush and just kind of, brush this in to make it like a little envelope. So not all the boxes have to be, you can make little doodles. You can try all kinds of fun things. All right, so we can do that. And now we've got our mail. I might do this. And I write all over. I don't only stay within the box. Sometimes I write outside, sometimes I write to the side. Just 
you know, it doesn't always have to be perfectly inside of something. And I think that's another thing is just, again, with having fun, experimenting and trying just different things that you like to do. All right, so we'll try that. All right, so we've got to check the mail. We're also doing a um, grocery store. So you can have fun. Let's make a fun box for this one. Hmm, let's try. I'm gonna try this, you guys, I don't know. I'm gonna try to make a, gross, a grocery bag, but I'm gonna make it kind of long. Just, you know, it's all about having fun in your planner as well as getting the things done. So I'm just gonna fill this in. I'm gonna make a box. So you can have your boxes be just decorative and fun, but you can also have them be like actual doodles, right? Which is what I'm gonna attempt to do here. Kind of like I did with that, with that envelope. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna just put some groceries coming off the top of this. Again, not an artist, but that's okay. I think too, I don't know. I don't color as much, you know, as in my day-to-day -day life as we did when we were young, but I just realized how fun and relaxing it is when I do do it. So I try to try to add some of that fun back in. I'm just making some boxes and some cans and just having fun. All right. In the interest of time, I will I will speed it up, but all right. So now we've got some functional doodles. Let me go back here and say, I'm gonna get a Sarasa pen and just say. But I have to go to the grocery store. I can even put, I can put a little check mark if I want, if I need it to get done, and that sort of thing. Um, all right, let's do another fun box. And again, I'm doing a lot of different ones here. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't put every single, you know, everything has to be in a crazy box. Um, but just, I'm just showing just different ways that you can add fun things into your planner. Okay, so let's do one like this. I'm gonna draw a box or a rectangle, I should say. And I'm just gonna put a couple little dots on the top. You could, I mean, that could be, that could be what you do. That could be it. I'm going to go back and use gray and kind of make this look like a notebook. So I'm going to go from there, from the little dot, like it's a spiral. And I'm just going to come and bring it back up to the top. So I'm just kind of going from the dot around and kind of making it like it looks like a spiral notebook. And this could just be call mom. And let's see. Another fun way to do a box you can do, let's see. I'm just gonna draw a box. And then I'm gonna come right here and put a dot, kind of catty corner, like catty corner. And it's from each of the corners. So now I've got a box with four little dots in it. Now I'm gonna connect these and make a second box inside, just like that. So now I've got a box in a box. And you can fill this in, and that could be just like a bordered box. 
Um, or you can come here and I'm going to take from each of the corners and connect them. Kind of making a mitered corner like a frame. I could use, um, let me get my yellow. I could come in and fill this in. And again, with the click art, they're not bleeding together. Just trying to give an example though. All right. And it can kind of have like a framed look to it. Okay. Like that. You could add a little, you can make it a picture frame, add a little nail and some lines down. And then another thing too that I like to do is when I do have boxes, like let's say this hair appointment, you can even come back with your Sarasa pen and add tiny details. So let's say I want to just kind of add some lines to this and just highlight some of these items, I can do that as well. Just to add some more texture to, the, to it, you can leave it the way it was, or you can just go back and add fun um, texture and shadows. And you can also do that with um, any of the markers as well. You can go back and add some little details, just maybe some shade, just for fun. I think there's just so many possibilities with these and ways to add on to your planner. So we kind of did some kind of decorative and functional boxes, but they can also have fun just kind of doodling and learning um, fun little items that you can put in your planner. And like I said, I'm not an artist, but I love having fun um, with all of the pens. And a lot of times I let the pens do the work for me. Um, a lot, especially brush pens. So for example, I'm gonna grab out the smog liner. Um, there's also these, which are, I love, especially they look great on um, white paper, but they really, really shine on your black paper. Okay, you're saying you can't draw. I, hello, I can't either, but I promise you, if you've got a brush pen handy, try this out. I'm gonna, I'll just, let me use one of these. Let's open them up. I opened them from the bottom. That's why I was like, why isn't it coming out? All right. I'm going to grab green and I'm going to grab, because I'm the same way. I've always been insecure about drawing things, but I promise you, the brush is going to do the work. It's going to. Okay. So the brush tip, if you're not familiar with these, they're thicker and then they get really thin on the end. And they're for brush lettering, which let's see, I'm just gonna flip my flip my little list over. I'm not perfect at, but as if you put a little pressure, you kind of hold it to the side. If you put a little pressure on the way up, it makes a thin line, right? And if you put a lot of pressure going down, it makes a thick line. So if you're practicing brush lettering, a lot of times they tell you to go up, practice coming down, thin up, practice. So kind of just practice getting the feel of the pen. So that let's say I'm writing, I'm gonna write, um, oh, hello. I would go thin on my upstrokes, thick on my downstrokes. And I'm, again, I'm not perfect at this, but it's fun. All right, so there. Okay, so there I've got hello. Let's say I want to do flowers. Just now that you kind of know how this pen works, you can let the pen do all the work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the pen, hold it on the side and press down. And I get a little pen, petal. So these pens are the metallic brush pens from Zebra Pen, okay? So I'm gonna do that again, and I'm just gonna connect the center right there. And I'm just gonna keep going around, pressing down. I'm not drawing a petal. 
I'll show you what happens when I try to draw a petal. It's just not, it's not so good, but you know, all flowers aren't perfect and I'm okay with my not perfect petals. I'm actually just coming back in and adding more. You can make them as thick as thin. I went really thick on this one. It's probably hard to see because it's dark, but so now I've got a flower and now let's say I want to make the stem. I'm going to just come down. I just made a little, just a little, you know, swash mark, right? And now I'm going to do the same thing with my leaves. You can make little leaves like this. You can have them be tiny and go the other way like that. You can make them be, you can make all different types of leaves, right? just depending on how you hold that. And then we get, I'm just kind of, all I'm doing is pressing. Pressing down and letting the brush pen do it. Okay, that was a lot of leaves, but I'm just trying to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. So let's also do it with a mild liner. Maybe you can see this one a little better because it's a little lighter. So let's say, let's say we want to make a box, but we can make it with vines. So I'm not saying I'm gonna do a box like this, right? And then now I'm going to make the leaves and I'm just gonna stagger them kind of on the page. So we've got just some fun leaves coming off of here. Again, it's doing all the work for me. You can even, if you want to get fancy, you can come back with maybe one of your click art pens. You can add some veining in there or highlights or every once in a while, maybe I want to add, um, I'm just kind of almost like a feather on either side. I'm just kind of drawing a line. And then I'm just adding some little strokes, kind of just going from the center on both sides at an angle. And I use that, I do that and I do it with color and I say that's a flower, <laughs> I do all the time. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of do that. So it kind of does, like I said, all the work for you. If you want to draw again, like we want to, let's try the flowers again, maybe in this lighter color. You can even come in and just use the dot end of the pen. Um, I like to do this a lot too. Let me grab another green. Let's say I'm going to have something come off of here. I just draw a line and all you have to do is just do a couple little dots. I can do three little dots coming off of here. One, two, three. And I like to add those just kind of around. It just gives it a little, just a little pop of color. And then let's grab another one. Let's grab some blue. You can kind of do the same method and make a different kind of flower. I'm going to draw one up here just so that you can see it better. Let's say I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to grab that brush in and I'm just going to kind of make marks. I'm just kind of making a brush shape almost. I mean, a flower shape. And then I'm going to come back with a darker. You can use your mod liner point end. You can use a click art pen and just add a little shadow at the base. I mean, again, not an artist, but it's cute and fun to add to your planner. And you can have just a lot of times when I'm just sitting, I'll just start doodling random, you know, just kind of like random little flowers. It's really fun. So let's say like this. Let's say this one. 
let's say I just make a circle with my brush pen, right? And I can come back, I'm gonna grab a click art pen, and then I'm just gonna make a swirl in the middle. And you've got kind of like a little rose. And let's see, you can also do, let's grab some of, I'm gonna grab another purple. And I'm just gonna quickly add it like that. And I can get my click art. I'm grabbing a darker color. And I'm adding some feathering in there. Just again, like I was doing before with the green down here. And maybe a few little dots for that. And it's just so much fun to just do a bunch of just different looks and just different styles. And really, is there a flower out there like this? I don't know, probably not, but I am having fun. And so, you know, you can just go back and draw a bunch and then you can fill in with your leaves and add in um, just a bunch of different, different looks to it. And the good thing about like this, these um, click art pens, I feel like I'm writing too small. Maybe I need to make these bigger so you guys can see. Um, what I love about it is I can mix those colors and I can try a bunch of different things. So let me, here, I'm gonna flip this over. So if you wanna outline in this darker color, and I'm gonna do a big leaf and a big leaf here. I can then come back with my light color. Again, they don't, I've made it smear because it's this paper, sorry. Let me grab my other paper, not that paper. Oh, well, it's like, I didn't wait. Okay, so if I draw my leaf, Okay. And then I come here. Should have done it in the darker first. I think that paper is coated. Sorry about that. And then I can come here and color over, and I don't have to worry about anything bleeding or smearing. There we go. And it kind of adds dimension when you use more than one color. Um, it's fine to do it with the one, but if you add, you know, multiple tones of the same color, it just kind of can add to it. So let's do this with, let's say I'm going to draw a daisy. We can use the yellow here in the center. And I can even come in and add some black and then just draw petals out from here. And again, they're not perfect. I'm going really fast, but just to give you an idea, there we go. And one of the, let me show you just an example. So here was a page I created when I was um, kind of thinking about things I wanted to do for this class. So I've got boxes and just, I just added, you know, all my little check marks, some trackers. I did a quote and I used the brush letters and highlighted. So there's just a lot of things that you can do with the markers in your planner and still get things done. And I was doodling before class again, some other, like we were talking about the flags, we can add flags with our little priorities and things to get done and just have fun. You know, we can have lunch and maybe we have to work, but we can make it look pretty in our planner um, and keep us engaged. Um, I was drawing like things this morning, like a ladybug, just you could draw a disco ball. 
And the fun thing with this is you don't, like I said, you don't have to worry about that black bleeding into your colors. And just have fun with it and enjoy the process of getting what you need done, but also um, keeping it fun and exciting in your planner. Does anyone, I'm trying to see if there were any specific questions anyone had about um, like the markers or the pens or the process on how to do anything. I think a lot of times, like I see people create things in their planner and I'm like, whoa, like how'd they do that? How'd they draw that? There's no way I could do it. But if you just, I mean, I think a lot of times we just need to try and have fun with it because I think that's what will keep us motivated and keep us going and doing all of the things that we need to get done. And honestly, like I said, these pens do so much of the work for you. Like anybody, anybody, even me, I can even draw some things. So let me get the little, where are they? Let me get these out. Were there any questions that anybody had on this? I'm gonna kind of move, I know, cause we're getting close to, to the time. Whoops, I moved it, sorry. I moved it out of the way, let me see. Oh, now it's back on me. Hi, <laughs> were there any questions that folks had? Any tips for tracking homeschool stuff? Oh, I think for tracking homeschool stuff, there's so, I mean, there's so many different things. You can either track by your subject um, and kind of have your blocks broken out um, and color coding, I think is really huge. Or if you've got multiple kiddos that you're teaching, um, maybe assign a color for each kid. And that way you can really um, hone into what they're doing and be able to at a glance see um, you know, where assignments are. There's a lot of planners too that are specifically for school to have more blocks that I think would probably um, be great for you as well. Um, and like I was saying, the click art pens are definitely a lot of fun and great for just kind of experimenting and starting out because they, like I said, they don't bleed and you don't have to worry about the colors running into each other. I feel like there were so many ideas that I didn't even get to. So um, be sure to check out um, the Zebra page because they have so much inspiration on their Instagram page, as well as a contest. Um, this is the, um, it's mild liner. They're having a mild liner contest this month. So eat, they have different prompts each week. So definitely check that out. There's some amazing prizes um, that they're giving away. So you'll for sure want to scope that out. Um, and if you have any, just there's just so much inspiration on that page as well. And be sure um, to check me out. I'm Marielle, mom and a girl with plans. Um, and yeah, I'm, I was just really excited. Okay, I saw something about do the pens overlap and I didn't see what that said. Um, but Again, one, thing, one of the things I love about the click art, the black, is that once I write with that, um, you can go back and um, color in with lighter color and it doesn't bleed. Um, I think too, like check your paper, like I did that one, it has a coating on that paper. And so it just took a second. It might take a couple seconds, um, but for the most part, I haven't had any any issue um, with smearing at all. You just might need to give it like three seconds. That one, I went way too quick, but um, these have been fantastic and so, and just perfect in my planner. Yes, the zebra pen holder is awesome. They've got one for your mild liners that you can like stick all of them in. I've got one right here and I love it. Um, that way I can see all my colors and my brush pens at a glance. Um, and grab them, you know, as I'm planning and as I'm doing um, different things. But I think a lot of times we get in a rut and I, I think sometimes you're team black ink, sometimes you're team blue, I'm team black, but I write in my planner and I'm, oh, I'm constantly using the black ink, right? But there are so many amazing colors 
uh, the Sarasa pens come in like, this is like a 20 pack of gorgeous colors. So don't only think markers and only think mild liners. You've got to think about like other ways to add these colors in. And this can also do a lot of that fine detail. So like if you want to add little, you know, accents in, um, you can do that. But thank you. I feel like we, it, I've, I have so much I'd love to share. So um, be sure to check out, like I said, um, Zebra's Instagram page, Zebra Pen USA, I think actually. If, and also I'm all the um, hashtag inspired by Zebra. You can get a lot of wonderful um, inspiration from everybody in the community that shares their amazing work as well. So be sure to check that out. And thank you everyone for joining. I hope, I can't wait to see all of the ways that you guys incorporate color and getting things done. So thank you so much for joining. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks.